The Biden administration has broken, well, their own record. Customs and Border Patrol released their March apprehension statistics. 221,303 illegal aliens were caught trying to cross the southern border into our country. The scarier question is, who flew under the radar? Joining me now is Reagan biographer, presidential historian, and author of April 1945, Craig Shirley, also with us as former Washington Post reporter and author of The First Family Detail, Ronald Kessler. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Uh, Craig, we'll start with you. Add to, to this you. reports that the Border Patrol apprehended 23 illegals who were on the U.S. terror watch list last year. Now, those are the terrorists we caught. There's no doubt in my mind that Biden and his political party have made us all less safe. What do you say? I think it's obvious we're all less safe. With the thousands coming in, you can't expect the border uh, border security to catch, capture everybody. So it stands to reason that uh, terrorists have come in uh, illegally over the border, and now they're being uh, spread out among the country, uh, around the country, you know, to, to create whatever mayhem they have planned. I mean, this is not a very... Uh, this is very dangerous circumstances. There's no good in this whatsoever. It's all bad, and it's all Biden's fault. Well, Mr. Kessler, you're writing about something that doesn't, I don't see an upside. Your recent Washington Times op-ed, The Real Secret Service Scandal, tells a story of two men charged with impersonating federal officers giving extravagant gifts to Secret Service personnel. Further evidence, in my view anyway, that incompetent children and those wishing to do harm to America are actually in charge here. What did you uncover? You know, you're absolutely right. Uh, any one of these individuals could have actually been uh, uh, a part of a terrorist network or part of a foreign intelligence service, and they could have uh, actually uh, assassinated the president or uh, gotten information uh, that's highly classified or put bugs in the Oval Office. That, that's the real threat. And the Secret Service is so arrogant and has this attitude of, we make do with less, that they don't do regular polygraph testing, which is the way to unco uncover this kind of activity and certainly to deter it in the future. And both the FBI and the CIA uh, polygraph everyone on a regular basis, uh, whether they're agents, officers, or, or other, other personnel. And yet the Secret Service has ignored that uh, example, and uh, it, it really courts disaster. Yeah, it, it's, uh, I can't think of anything more disastrous for this country other than the aforementioned border crises. Uh, Mr. Shirley, 10 Democrat senators, including Arizona's Kirsten Sinema, Delaware's Chris Coons, and West Virginia's Joe Manchin, they are splitting with the Biden administration, and they say that Title 42 should be kept in place. What do you think is going on here? Is it a little CYA, as far as you're concerned? Yes, exactly. And I'm surprised. I, I fully expect more Democrats to join with, the, with them in the days ahead. This is highly embarrassing for the Biden administration. It brings up the obvious question, why should Americans, legal Americans, be have all these vaccination rules and all these mask rules and illegals coming in over the border don't have to have any rules. And it, it, it defies logic, it defies common sense. And that's really the, 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 the bottom line about the whole Biden administration, everything, uh, whether closing down gas lines or opening up borders illegal or whatever, they defy common sense. And it's gonna come back to haunt them terribly uh, in the elections this fall. You know, I'm, I was thinking maybe 50 uh, House seats, but I'm thinking more like 75 or 80 uh, House seats that Republicans will gain just by sitting on their haunches, not even making the case that th they think their yeah. government is going to yeah. be better than, than the uh, Democrats. I'm so glad you said it. It's not that Republicans have done anything. They, they, they have no vision. There's no Newt Gingrich in the Republican Party citing a way forward that's going to improve America. I think that's very astute on your part. Last thing, Mr. Kessler. Uh, this could very well be White House propaganda. So I, I want to I set this up and preface that. It could be the press bunny, for all I know, that's putting out this report that Biden told resident Barack Hussein Obama that, that Biden plans to run for re-election in 2024. Your reaction, sir? Well, you know, Biden is, is a play actor. He's, he's constantly in, in this fantasy world, removed from uh, what the American people want. And so he'll he'll make these these ploys, 
uh, periodically. It goes back to when he was vice president. And uh, Obama said he's going to appoint Biden as the new sheriff in town to cut costs. Well, that was a total bogus uh, maneuver, just the way uh, Kamala <laughs> Harris is the border czar. That's the way they they act, and they, they think we're all fools and, and that we're going to fall for it. Now, Craig, did you want to, I, I saw you chomping at the bit trying to comment on this. I only got 30 seconds, but go. Uh, I don't know where to start. It's the, uh, again, I'll go back to this, is that it, it defies common sense. There's no logic assigned to the Biden administration. Nothing they do makes any sense whatsoever. But the one thing about the, the Ron's column, which I thought was a terrific column, uh, scares me is that what are the people who have succeeded in infiltrating the Secret Service? Who has succeeded in infiltrating and, and subduing the Secret Service? And what, what does that pretend for our, you know national yeah. leaders in, in yeah. the future, including some of those it illegals? Is a fine, yeah, it is a fine question. And, and as I mentioned, we literally have children men mentally, chill, mental children running things in, in this country. And the only thing we can be certain of the only person not running this country is Joe Biden. Gentlemen, thank you. Craig yeah. Shirley and Ronald Kessler. Appreciate the time.